Oh baby, the skies are blue for Cantu. What's up and what is percolating YouTube the World Wide Web, man? As you guys can see in full live, high definition, it's your host with the most. Back at you guys with a brand new video. Now, right now, your boy's parking lot pimping, about to go thrifting, but I'm not just looking for clothes. I'm actually looking for something to turn into an artistic project for the day. All right, y'all, so we are live in here right now and I saw a couple of cool little gems. First of all, I'm just gonna discuss some clothing before I actually get into the art. You have the John Cena, the champ is here. I got five on it. Little t-shirt. And then I saw another one. Hold on, let me figure out where it was. Hey, look at that dude. The fish got dreads, baby. They got a bunch of these dope little island tees right here. So um, maybe we'll do something a little bit tropical themed in this thing. Oh yeah, baby, it's official. You got the sailboat and you got the fishes that get you hella bitches on this white tee. Yeah, that's a must. Ooh, look at that basketball too. Harlem Globe Trotters edition, straight patriotic, bruh. All right, y'all. <laughs> We're in the uh, painting section, and I want to find something that I could customize and make my own. So I'm looking for something that maybe was potentially hand painted with some oil or acrylic. None of these will do the trick thus far. All right, so I found a couple of viable options to alter. You got this, uh, I don't know what this is, like an acrylic. Looks like someone was high as hell making some multicolored lollipop flowers. You also got that tropical theme that goes with my t-shirt. I think I'm gonna go with this one. It's a nice little oil painting. It's only 15 bucks. I can change it up a little bit. Originally 90 bucks. Come on, baby. We're gonna make that worth about 500 right now, son. So I think I'm gonna get this one if it would stay up. And then uh, also saw a blank little canvas right there. So, you know, we might do a warm up painting on this and then get to the real deal on this hoe. Let's get some oil paints and get to it. And there it is, baby. It's very unfortunate that all my oil paints got jacked or else I wouldn't need to get these, but hey, you know, shit happens. Boom, boom. Quick and easy little cops right there, baby. I got some paint thinner, I got the oil paint. And uh, now it's time to go with GI Bro. So we're gonna get in that tropical ass. Oh. I'm looking tropical, I feel like I'm unstoppable Water boys running shit, we drowning all off the court so all right ladies and gentlemen i have the assortment of paints ready i actually switched to Ooh. acrylic paint because i looked at the back of this gym right here and this actually isn't painted at all it's like one of those printed on garden ridge painting so just some typical shit that someone would buy for their apartment or something of that nature so you know in tropical fashion i had to switch the outfit and i'm actually going to get with it with the alteration of this gym right here so i guess without further ado let's crack into this painting process and we'll see how i can transform this 14 and 99 cent painting into a million dollar piece of art let's do it all right guys, so my first angle when attacking this customization of a thrifted painting was actually to put an alien hanging from a tree. Now I don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but it actually turned out to not be a good idea at all. So this is the first time I've painted in a few years, and honestly I have been fiending and wanting to get back into it for the longest time. So of course I started off a bit rusty and dusty, but I had to go ahead and add some dreads on this alien. I don't know what I was thinking at the beginning, but sometimes you guys have to add some WD-40 to the rusty hinges to get back with it. So once I added the dreads, I was like, I gotta add a little hat on this alien. And then I had to add a blunt, because of course it has to be a reefer addict if it has dreads. And then I added some shorts as well. Now at this point, I was like, wow, this looks absolutely terrible. So I just said, fuck it, mask off. I'm gonna start from the beginning once again. And I actually decided, you know what? What's more natural yell hanging from a tree than an alien is obviously a monkey. Like, I don't feel like with the technological advancements aliens could have, they would ever possibly need to be hanging from a tree. Unless it's just some weird habit or they're trying to, you know, mock the monkey in order to gain access into their tribal ways. But yeah, man, I just started color blocking initially to lay down where all the darks and the lights were on the painting and then i slowly just started stacking the layers to add more and more detail onto this guy i decided to go ahead and stick with the dread theme and the hat theme and have this monkey be smoking a blunt as well because obviously out of the original idea that was the bread and butter in enhancing this thrift painting so yeah man i had to add the little sleepy eyelids on that guy and then uh, i started adding the hat once again so as i went on and man you just kind of start to see the transformation take place i actually restrained myself to doing this in only four 
hours which honestly was pretty difficult to do i was like you know what each hour i need to be marking my progress and i just want to be quicker with doing paintings because obviously i like to keep doing these videos if you guys enjoy them but i definitely think it is a cool way just to take something cheap make it my own and add a little flair to it so as you guys can see the creepy pupils are on there and i actually added some like stub dreads on this guy as well the blunt is wider than it was originally and overall it's just looking better i was still kind of in a quandary whether to have trunks on the guy or whether to just go with the bare legs but i actually decided to go with the bare legs so right here i'm actually painting in the fur atop of his little thighs <laughs> and it's really crazy that his hand is gripping a palm tree like i don't know how huge this alien is but obviously this is a fictional character so i added a little tail to once again maintain the balance on this a species of unknown monkey but i definitely fuck with the vision you know what i'm saying i'm like dude why not add a monkey smoking a blunt into my restroom i'm about to move out so i'm like yo i need some art for the new place anyways but um yeah dude at this point i'm honestly just talking to to keep the voiceover going because me trying to explain everything i do to someone who doesn't have that artistic inclination or talent it honestly would just go over your head like i just kept adding more and more shit more and more details more and more fur until it really started fleshing out but for anyone who is a painter a key is definitely the darks and the lights you want the darks to be dark and the lights to be light just to make that contrast and to make the piece or painting pop overall and i definitely like having a more painterly feel as opposed to trying to do something hyper photorealistic which one I don't even know if I had the capacity to do, and two, why would I do that when you can take a picture or something? So, if someone is in a painting, man, I just recommend you guys do some stylized shit. It's a lot more fun, a lot looser, a lot cooler, but if you guys want to go for that photorealism, you know, that might be cool in high school just to flex on your friends, but, you know, I studied art in college, and right now I'm actually adding beads to the dreads, which is what I was doing and enhancing the hat, pimping it out a little bit, but, uh, yeah, man, in high school, it's cool to flex by doing photorealistic stuff, but if you look at professional artists, a lot of them are not into the photorealism whatsoever, so, yeah, that's why I wanted to do a more painterly spin on this ridiculous-ass reefer attic monkey, and right here, I'm actually Bob Rossing it up a bit and adding some smoke outside of the blunt, got a smoking a blanket you know what i'm saying but it is what it is bro i think it turned out looking dope it pretty much was done at this point but i had to go ahead and add the marijuana leaves on the monkey's foot or i guess third hand but yeah man here is the piece done and uh yeah we'll get back into it live and direct right now with my response all right y'all and there it is baby the final production this is low-key what i was using as a reference Except obviously I wanted to make mine like more cartoonized and painterly and all that stuff But um, yeah, man, I feel like I just added some swag to this pretty plain Jane painting right here You know 15 bucks now. I got a let me dig in the back at a reefer Exclusive I think I may add some more stuff here over time. I don't know. I'll think about it I just don't really want to do like too much and kind of fuck up the painting by adding way too many details But yeah, man, if you guys enjoy make sure you like comment and subscribe if you guys want to see more videos like this Let me know as well actually fuck it I'm gonna make more videos like this anyways But yeah, one of the main reasons I'm not adding more to it because I was thinking about adding let me dig in the bag We're adding like a little dragon like a sea serpent right there Maybe an alien spaceship doing some crazy shit But um, yeah, the main reason I'm not doing that right now is just because I want to drop this video Release some content because all this I actually did today So today you're seeing this is actually the day I made this and everybody who follows me on snapchat actually saw this exclusively on the snap chisel so yeah also follow me on snubs i think i'm gonna start like a thrift art shelf on there so that's where there's gonna be a one-stop spot for all of my shit and i guess i don't know this might be for sale i'm not exactly sure yet shipping will be a bitch because it's heavy as hell but yeah man peace and love thank you guys for watching see you next time be creative baby killing these songs leaving a bloody life i rooster and I'm in it to win it, so I'm somebody that you should get used to. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. look at these guys. So a little last minute find, man. You got the patent leather shit brown Chelsea boots. Straight up high fashion. Half off too. Only five bucks. I gotta grab them, baby. They my size. Why so trippy? So bustin'.